What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day and as always enjoying a lot of golf. I am back at Cimarron Golf Course in Cathedral City for round three and playing in this course. I'm here with a new driver in the bag. I'm here to beat my previous score on this course which was 95. Stay tuned to uh, check out if I beat it. This is going to be part one of the front nine and then part two back nine will be next week. Uh, there's going to be a lot to look in this video guys a lot of things uh, good things uh, bad things and but especially good things So make sure to stick around and watch the videos first hole hole number one part four 368 five wood The one thing I'll know I'm also gonna say is I'm adding my score if you guys seen one of my previous uh, videos I I mentioned that I haven't done that in the past and top this ball, breakfast ball. I haven't shot in the past and I want to do that now and start adding my scores as much as I can in several of my course blocks. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like button throughout the video and if you, if, obviously if you guys enjoy the video. I knew we were gonna make it. 75 yards, 56 way. One of the things I uh, different about this course vlog is that uh, I try to focus a little bit more on the round. I kept my mind try to focus as much as I can and see how low I can go. But interesting fact though, I discovered a lot of things what I have to work on and as we go through the video, I'll explain it. Wow, what a good putt there. It didn't go in. I wonder if it would have gone in without the, you know, without the protective they have in the holes there. Three putt. I don't like those. Oh, another top. Topped it again. That's not a good way to start, but I'm not gonna give up. I uh, still try to maintain focus and just waiting for that one shot to get my game uh, uh, going. Always need that one shot to start it. And another top. Oh. Don't worry, it's gonna get better. I promise. 163 seven iron. Now we're talking. There we go. Got the game back. See what we can do. Come on. We put the last one. We don't want to do the same thing here, but I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Go. Go. I don't know. Uh, putt like that are the ones that are costing, are gonna cost my my game and my numbers to go high, and that's one of the things I think you'll probably catch in this video. I do three putts when I can do when I should be doing two. There you go, that's the second putt. Now I'm gonna shoot for a third, and there we go. But you know things that I gotta work on. First first drive with my new driver. I've only used it once in the driving range, not once, but I've only taken it out once. Oh, shot tracer didn't work there, not good. Um, so I haven't had much practice with it, but the time that I hit at the driving range, it was doing good. Oh, that was a good shot. Layup, par five, so that was just a layup shot. Uh, 210. There was that bunker in the front. I just want to do a layup to the right. Exactly what I wanted to do. Nice distance. Maybe I could have clubbed up and maybe try to get it over the green, but I didn't want to take that risk. I want to play it safe, which is another thing that I wanted to focus on this round. Come on. Good practice. That's the swing I want. Yes, beautiful. But just short of the green. Not enough. Still a beautiful shot. Still I'm satisfied with it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go. Oh. Ah, good putt. Really, really good putt. Can we do a two putt? Let's do a two putt. Oh. See? Shots like putts like that are gonna kill my score a lot. I can already tell. Like, shots like that are gonna just kill it. And again, guys, sorry for this one. I I did not record my my tee shot on this one, 
but uh, it was 328 yards, five wood, and then uh, to the right of the fairway. 124 pitching range. Green. Yes. Nope. And the green. Took a shot. Soft shot actually on that pitching wedge. I didn't go full swing. I remember that. Come on. Damn it. Again. Three putt. I won't say it again, but you know, just shots like that are gonna kill my game. Part three. I've been doing a lot, doing really good on the part threes on my previous round, so, and that's why I've been doing good. Part threes are becoming really good for me. X on the green, and that's where I landed. I gotta par this one. I'm not gonna do bogey on this one. I gotta par it with shots like that. It motivates me even more to make sure that I get that par. I'm not saying birdie because I don't want to overthink it but or give too my uh, high hopes but I'm satisfied with the par or bogey except bogeys on the par 3. Second drive, come on a little bit of practice, come on, Ooh. nice shot, ball. nice ball indeed, perfect, pipe that one down the center, perfect drive, oh, pulled it big time that pull that another thing that I've been working on on my grip on that but I think I've sorted it that out already and you should be seeing a little bit improvement on shots like that no more pulls that much but keep an eye out for more course fogs not enough to get into the green come on can we do two putts here yes we can come on oh Come on, Fernando, you can do better than this. Gotta take my time and focus on the green, read the greens. See, if I wouldn't have been doing three putts, I am at plus eight now. I would have been maybe a plus four, I would say. Even that, that would have been good. But, another good drive low drive went to the right a little bit but still playable as i was saying yeah i could have been less, less putts and if i wouldn't have screwed those uh first tee on hole number one and two those top shots i know my score would have been maybe plus three or plus four if that so i just gotta practice and play more we'll get there we'll get there i have good hopes for myself and in, in the game to improve so Let's see, prep one, come on. Nice, two putt, two putt, nice. Come on, par four, three, 12, five wood. Damn. A little bit low, a little bit low to the left, but I was actually saved by this before it went to the wash actually. So um, lucky for that shot right there and a big old chunk i look frustrated but it's just my reaction i'm not really frustrated mentally mentally mad oh went way over the green on that one it's just kind of disappointing but i'm still trying to maintain a, a, a positive attitude during the round and, and trying to get just still play as best as i can so here we go ah bad read bad read you guys are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Got to work on my putts. That's what I've been saying since the start of the vlog. And I probably won't repeat anymore. But we're coming back to the... We're coming to the whole nine. 131 yard pitching wedge, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching this part. One, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Share this video. Comment below what you think. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. But... Uh, as you can see here, this is like I mentioned, I, I added my scores and um, hope you guys enjoyed it and the video and 
let's keep an eye out for please make sure to keep an eye out for part two which is going to be the back nine can i beat my score you got to stay tuned to find out let's finish the hole concentration 100 percent nice ball indeed we did not see it land i was surprised because i, I had long. thought also that i went long because we did not see it land but you'll see where it landed pitching wedge no t as you guys know and guys i apologize for this footage right here apparently somebody clicked on something that my was doing fast forward or that type fast recording and I had to slow down the video uh, enough to do this so as I mentioned part threes are doing good for me did par guys thanks for watching make sure to check out one of my other videos see you on the next video